Morris Zhang has formally resigned as chairman of TSMC after chairing the firm's annual shareholders meeting for the last time today. Zhang founded the semiconductor giant 31 years ago and played a leading role in the development of Taiwan's silicon industry. He has completed relinquished all executive power, but says he's sure the company will continue to lead the market in the years to come. This is the last shareholders meeting that I will hold. There is new leadership. New miracles will continue to be created one after the other. This was a shareholders meeting like none other in TSMC's history. It featured a series of presentations looking back over Zhang's 31 years at the helm of the world's leading semiconductor foundry. As for concerns about TSMC's market prospects in the coming years, Zhang didn't hesitate to express his faith in the company. In 10 years, the world will still need TSMC. China's semiconductor industry will make some real strides in the next 5 or 10 years, but it will always be 5, 6 or 7 years behind TSMC. Zhang has made sure to go out on a high note. Over the last year, TSMC's consolidated revenue was over 977 billion NT dollars, up 3.1 percent from the previous year. And the firm has approved its highest ever cash dividend payout at $7 a share. Zhang may not be calling the shots anymore, but he stressed that TSMC's commitment to Taiwan will not waver once he's gone. I support the president elected by the people. Now I support President Tsai Ing-wen. TSMC is rooted in Taiwan. TSMC will continue to invest in Taiwan. Once christened the godfather of silicon, 86-year-old Zhang has dedicated his life to developing one of the world's most influential tech companies. Now he's finally ready to step back, his authority will be split between two successors, Mark Liu and C.C. Wei, beginning a new dual executive era for TSMC.